Hello, hello. Here we go, here we go. Another video on Gran Turismo. GPAs here. Part two of my desire to qualify for race B in the weekly daily races. So, we're heading into the sports menu, into the daily races. We are going to Spa, Group 4 car. We are in the McLaren 650S. This is our car of choice because when we look at the world qualifying, that is the fastest car. Uh, so we are going to take it out. We're very familiar with this car as we drove it in the Nations Cup. I have a goal of trying to get in the top 1,000. And let's see what the time is to get into the 1,000. My current time is 139, uh, 131.9, which is 61.51 in the world, which is not very impressive at all. Uh, and if I want to get into the top 1,000, I need to break the 130 barrier and get into the 129 nines. Now that is a two second change from where I am. So that goal of being in the top 1,000 might be a little bit lofty. So uh, let's see what the top uh, time is to be in the top 1,500. I need a low uh, 2032, so that's um, that is uh, a ways away as well. So I'm not sure if I can uh, achieve that goal, but uh, I think you know logically I might be able to get a 231 flat. So what does a 231 flat get us? So we're not in the top 2,000 with the two. So to get in the top 2,000, which is a very, very good time of 230.5. So I got a ways to go to get there. Can I get in the top 2,500? So I need a high 230. So I am going to set a goal of trying to get into the top. 2500. I need to find 1.2 seconds on my current time. So from this menu, um, I'm going to put on the hard tires because that is the requirement of this race. There are no other tuning opportunities, so we're at the mercy of the tune that's provided to us. We're going to go into the qualifying time. And we're going to sit here and wait for uh, about 40 seconds, I would imagine, as we are on the PS4, which um, we're lucky enough to have this game on the PS4. You do not need a PS5 to play this game. You can play this game on a PS4. You can be competitive on a PS4. Uh, I do not have a fancy rig. I drive a, a T150 as my wheel, Thrustmaster 150, and I have the Thrustmaster upgraded pedal set. I do not have the load cell. If I was to upgrade anything, I would upgrade the pedal set. I find your braking and your accelerating is much more important than the steering wheel. So if you were going to do anything, have a load cell brake uh, set um, would help. But I am not on a load cell so the next thing I like to do is I like to go in and I like to uh, put uh, the guy who has the best time in the car that I have as my ghost so I can compare myself to the world's best. I figure if I'm going to compare myself to anyone, it might as well be them. Um, it, it might be helpful at the beginning to uh, have a... Uh, have the ghost reset right now because he is going to be so far in front of me. And the other thing that um, I want to do is go into the options. 
go into my wheel mapping. Um, I'll tell you what find in here somewhere. I'm sure there's uh, Master. Uh, it's me. And I'm going to go in and I want my L2 button to be my ghost toggle so that I don't have to worry about uh, if the ghost gets in my view I can toggle them off so where the heck is my ghost toggle normally I have that as look back uh, but in a qualifying uh, time trial you do not need to look back so do I see the toggle of the ghost here there it is. Show hide ghost. All right. And then I got to go down and hit OK. Then I'll go back to this menu. And I will uh, start knowing that I can pull the ghost in and out of my view. So uh, on my last video, I followed the leader around to have a good sense of how to drive this track or how he drives it. Not to say that I'm going to be able to drive it like he does, but there he is, the ghost. If you want to go down into, come under there, down into first, come out in second, accelerate as soon as you can. This car, you shift early. And into six to go up the hill. Try to get right along that black line. Not squeal the tires. Oh, I squealed the tires way too much there, which slows you down. But I didn't get a penalty, which is a positive thing. Coming up to the next break point, which is just before the edge of the curb. Hit them hard. Now the ghost reset there for me, so I can see exactly how he goes through this section. Got to be pretty brave to get through that corner like he just did. Second around here. Out in third. Wow, almost lost it there. Got a five second penalty for my problems. All right. So I'm not going to continue around uh, with a five second penalty, I'm just going to restart. Great feature, that retry feature. Retry! Wow. Car got thrown to the right there, and right off uh, where I needed to be. So the ghost should have a little bit better run on it, but it doesn't appear to. The brake just after 100 yard, down to first. Get around the corner, into second, on the accelerator. Oh, don't lose the back end. I had to, a big correction there. and lost a ton of time. So let's see if we can't do this uh, a little bit better. Get along the black, onto the curb. I think I made it without a penalty there. I was close, very close. But I did, no penalty. So coming up to my next breaking point. Down into third. Slight break there. Over to the left, into fourth. Feather that pedal until you know you've got the corner. Break hard, down into second to get to the apex. Off the brake, into third. Oh, I totally had to feather. Oh, wow. Okay, so that isn't uh, the best way to get around there. So I have a law. Some way I'm sure it's in the annals of physics book somewhere, the law of pushing too hard. The harder you push, the harder you crash. So sometimes when you push too hard, you're just going to crash. That is Law of Physics 189. Okay, so I came into that corner okay. I could have been in second gear and on the accelerator a little bit earlier. And I should be um, shifting early 
the group for McLaren. You do not have to rev it, and frankly, you uh, get better speed if you shift. I'm going to leave it in sixth here, even though this would be about the time you would shift to seventh. This doesn't get me anything as I'm going to be breaking up here very shortly, just before the curb on the brakes. Oh, should have held the brakes just a little bit harder. Dab the brakes there to get the car rotated. A little lift into fourth and floor it. Brake hard just before that curb. Get it over tight into third on the exit. There we go didn't crash best is to come out of fourth there shift early into sixth break down to fourth get the corner back up into fifth keep it to the floor all the way around here trust that the car is going to turn into sixth the next breaking point is just before the curb down into third get it as close to the apex as you can Another dab on the brakes to get the car to turn into fourth. This is an important corner here. Get it tight and get a good exit. You want to keep it tight here too so that you can keep it to the floor. Ghost is reset again for me. So I can see how he goes through this section. We're gonna have to uh, get into seventh before we go around this corner and a slight lift. Uh oh, and hold on to her. Okay. So, losing time on every sector to these uh, aliens that drive in the top 100. So he likes to take it right down there. I've been not. So, hmm. 232 is uh, not even close to my best time and nowhere close to the top 2500. Get into second and accelerate. Okay, shift faster. I've got a better time out of there, but I'm losing time. Okay, the blue arrow pointing up means you're gaining time on your best time, which, and I'm gonna totally get a penalty there. I had the wheel cranked all the way over and uh, could not make that turn. Retry, don't be afraid to retry. Okay, tight there, accelerate all the way down here. Okay. Break hard. First to rotate, get into second on the accelerator. Back end just wanted a kick out on me there. So, accelerating early, like the driver in front of me does. Um, it's very difficult without uh, the back end wanting to kick out on you, so. I will uh, endeavor to be a little bit closer coming out of that corner, but I'm already so far behind. But that's okay. We've got it. This is a long lap. Two and a half minutes. the apex to third back into fourth and it seems like I've got a better exit out of there to sixth break down into fourth back into fifth on the accelerator let the car slide out a little bit as you can see he's taken the widest line through there so on the edge out there it's unbelievable you're just you're on the fine line between slipping right out into the gravel pit. Um, that's what makes these drivers so good, is they can get out there. See, I'm 
I barely have the confidence to keep it flat through there, but I did. Seems like I've got a bit better time than my last uh, 232, but so seventh and a slight lift here. Well, I had to double lift so that I didn't go right off the track, or like I felt like I was going to go right off the track. Brake hard, down into first, second through there, tight on the apex, and accelerate out. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's a half decent banker, I guess. I think I hit the wall. Pretty sure I hit the wall there. So, I'm in front of him, uh, into that corner, but uh, the saying of slow in, fast out, I think applies there. And that theory is you slow down so that you get into a position for a better exit and then you could accelerate sooner by slowing down. Like I broke a, a little bit early there, but I'm already half a second down. I'm already into fourth. Oh, well, I got a feather, the throttle to get it around that corner. Broke just a little early for the speed I was going there. Out in third, fourth, back to third. Tight, accelerate out in fourth. Still 0.7 seconds behind. Okay, let's see how far I can take it out into the nethers. Oh, ho, ho, ho. did it gave me any time? Did it gave me any time going out there? Uh, a bit of time. I lost time doing that. I'm obviously not carrying the speed I need to. Oh, that was just... I would call that completely blown corner. But it doesn't matter. I'm not on a fast lap here, so start thinking about the next lap. Start thinking about how <laughs> I'm in a, still so far away from where I need to be. Wow. See, I tried to stay flat through there and uh, just kicked me right out of the course. And I got myself a five second penalty. So, we're going to retry it. So, I went my fourth retry. I normally like to give myself about 10 laps to try to achieve the goal I've set for myself. And just like any time in life you set goals, you don't necessarily achieve them. Doesn't mean you failed, just means you haven't necessarily met that goal. Is that goal too lofty to begin with? I don't know. I like to think I have it in me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, beautiful. Really, really nice through there. It's probably the best I can do that. I'm right on the ghost, so I'm not too far off. My next breaking point is coming up. See if I can have the confidence to go through there. Um, seems like I might have a better lap going. Down into second. Up into third. Well, yeah. Felt good coming out of there into fourth. Touch of the brakes. Down into third. Back into fourth. Fifth. Quickly into sixth. Break into fourth, fifth. Wow, I really slid out there. But lost a lot of time. 
So you can fight tight on both these corners without hitting the poles. Fourth out of there. Stop a little bit of the sliding. Down into third here, get tight and get on the accelerator as soon as possible. Tight here and into fifth. Oh, hold on to it. Wow, I almost got pulled right off the track there. To sixth. So I'm keeping up with the ghost, so I obviously got a good exit. Nice little lift there. Coming down to my braking point just after the 150 marker. Hard down on the brakes. Down to first. Back up into second. Tight on this corner. Oh. Yeah. I didn't quite do that corner very well. 31. 3. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. A little bit better. Did I hit the wall again there? Hit the wall. So a 231.3. Still got a ways to go to get into the 230s. But, you know, I'm feeling a little bit more confident now that I was able to lay that down, even though this lap isn't anywhere near that. Let's see if we can get a few laps in here without crashing and have no retry. Get a bit of a rhythm going. And right now is just a matter of experimenting. So I know I don't have a better time, but I want to see if I can't learn a few things on this lap. Got to be patient on the accelerator. Oh. I just feel like I'm so wide in that corner. I gotta be tighter to the apex, which means I've gotta break a little bit earlier. Okay, I'm broke a little bit later, but I think you don't have to be so tight to that apex to get a really good run out of there, obviously, because I've picked up quite a few tents through that section. See if I can continue that trend. See if I can pick up a few tents through there and maintain my lap. Then I should be able to uh, get into the low 131s or high 30s. Okay, so we're gonna hit our braking spot here. Down into first, rotate the car, get it straight, rotate it onto the accelerator. Wow. So I lost uh, two tenths coming around that corner. It's so nip and tuck these corners, so, you know, a couple of tenths here and there. Broke way too late there. Maybe not. Got a good uh, launch out of the corner anyway. Uh, I've got a bit of a delta, but if I could do this corner as well as I did the, the last time. A little bit, actually, yeah. Losing a bit of time against uh, my last lap, but thousands. Pretty much dead heat for my best time. Tight on this corner. Dab the brakes, get her tight. And slight lift into fourth. Fifth. Brake hard down to second. Get on the apex. Third gear. Fourth. Back down to third. Fourth. Okay, so way tighter on the apex there. Let me see if I can gain much time. So I held fourth a little bit longer there before I went into fifth and picked up 
quite a bit of time. And lost it all. Going purple, but I'm gonna lose that in a hurry. Oh. Okay. Track it a bit better of the lap, but uh, not getting the uh, the two or three tenths that I need. Well, a little wide there. Might be a penalty. Break hard. I just felt the car just being thrown. Had it into that corner. Okay, it seems like a relatively good exit, but I'm not going as fast as I did on my last lap because I'm losing time on the Delta. This corner I have to be perfect on each lap or I am not going to uh, even come close to my time. So pretty much dead even. I'm going to break just a little bit later on this. Just a tad later. Hard down into third. Dab of the brakes around this corner. Lifting into fourth. Ah. Out on the brakes. Down into second. Third out of here. Fourth. Dab the brakes into third. Out and fourth. Nice. the Delta going now. Just got to execute this corner correctly. Picked up more time, but I'm going to lose time down the straight. Okay, just got to execute these next few corners well. Slight lift through here. Lost time. Gonna break hard. Down into first. Up into second. Tight on the corner. Fill the rate out without losing the back end. Nice. Yes! 230.8. Nice work. get the drive out of that corner that I needed. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard uh, the squeal there, but I had to turn my front tires again to make it through that corner without a penalty. And you just scrub so much speed. to cut that corner a little bit too much and hit the uh, bollard. All right, so I got time for one more lap. Uh, 
and we will uh, tee it up coming around the last few corners before we get down to the final straight mm. tried to go around there in force just to see if it um, helped me at all I'm going to try that around here too I think uh, obviously it's a uh, Oh, hold on. So by coming out of there in fourth, I certainly um, pick up a lot of speed. So maybe it is fourth through there. I'm not take down third because I am uh, picking up a lot of delta. Okay, so into seventh. Slight lift. I had to totally feather there. One more time. Okay, let's set ourselves up for a good exit here. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. One more lap, can we improve? Break down, first, the car rotated into second and accelerate. So I've got better speed than I lost two tenths to my delta there. Oh no. Darn. That's gonna cost me. Ah, good old second. Second, second, second. Wow. Drag. such visions of glory for that lap all right so let's uh, go see where we ended up with my 230.8 which was an improvement of 1.1 second roughly that session mm hmm my optimum was 230.6 so I could have got into the mid 230s with my optimum lap and where are we on the ranking board 27th 2700 2700 okay you know what I set the goal of being in the top 2500 and I got to 2767 not bad and again, not bad for a B-rated driver. Thanks again for joining me. Hope to catch you again.